fine. That is fine. That is fine. Yes. Because you know why the reason I'm asking or why I'm asking about the uh, CGPA, your current CGPA is because I think um, if you graduate with something above three on four, you stand a chance to get something in the United States. Probably you can apply for graduate school, right? Then, what? because in grad school, when you apply, automatically you get funding in most universities. I already know the trick. I have a lot of videos on the channel talking about that. So with time, we could consider that. Just make sure you... Sorry. I always follow those information you post on the YouTube channel. Most of the time I can be, if I am not the fifth viewers, I can be, um, most of your videos I can be with, with let's say from, from, from the first viewer to the fifth viewers. Actually. Okay. All right. I understand. Thank you so much for that. Okay. That's great. Because I think, it is going to be good. Your field of studies is uh, something related to sciences and uh, sciences in the United States. I think you stand a chance. This, this medical laboratory sciences is also linked to chemistry, not so? Um, it is highly, you know, chemistry based, microbiology based. Oh, um, I, uh, I get it now. Hematology based. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I think try to maintain your CGPA because if you maintain your CGPA because, to uh, the grade above three, then you you may get something. I think yeah, it, it's possible. Um, yeah. So let's say fifty percent of the course is highly microbiological, and fifty percent let's say fifty percent is highly microbiological mm -hmm. um 30 percent is highly chemical based i mean mm -hmm. chemistry based and then mm -hmm. uh the rest is uh hematology you know the study of blood of okay course. okay okay i understand the study of the blood rest. yeah you, you you stand a chance even biochemistry i think at the end of the day you can still get biochemistry for masters I have a lot of biochemistry courses on my job school. Excellent. Yeah. You can you can do biochemistry for masters. It's possible because as soon as you told me that um, most of the courses are microbiology based, I knew exactly what you were saying. Yeah, sure. Okay. Um, so for my transcript for my field of study, you understand now. Yes. Right. Yes, I get it. I get it. So, like I said, my budget is 7000 mm -hmm. right now that I have, mm -hmm. and then I have sponsorship. Okay. Then that is great. Then I think... Apart, mm -hmm. apart, apart, from, apart from the sponsorship, mm -hmm. I do have, you know, a little business back home that my father is managing properly. Mm -hmm. You know, I can also get something from, from there to back me up as well. Okay, that's good. Excellent. That puts you in a better position, anyways. Uh, in case um, yeah. you'll be needing a bank statement or anything like that, then I think getting the, the funds for your bank statement may not be a problem. But by the way, you already have a sponsor, so I don't think you have an issue. The only thing now is for us to figure a way out and uh, you get a program. You understand? Yeah. Um, okay, now, even if I have a sponsor, mm -hmm. uh, honestly, my sponsor would not be willing to, you know, um, pay upfront. I mean, if I have to attend a university that will request full tuition fee before I arrive there, mm -hmm. my sponsor mm -hmm. will not be willing to, to do that. So that will rest on me. So once I get into the country, mm -hmm. then you will now deposit my school fee directly to me. That's what happens when I was coming to India. I have to do everything on my own. Mm -hmm. Then when I got here, I got the replacement of what I sent as spent. Okay. That's how it works. Okay, I understand. I understand. Then that will be fine because um, Finland is already out of the show. 
we cannot apply you or you cannot get admissions again in finland as of that time because it will be late you know every country has a admissions period they put in so we will work on other different countries but anyways i'm still going to listen from you because you are still going to bring like the list of the countries you are interested in then i will know what to say from there yes um now um i always you know um first you know, okay i have interest in estonia mm -hmm. i have interest in latvia and i have interest in mm -hmm. lithuania okay the reason is this um like you always explain in simplicity on the china regarding especially the visa issuance or the visa process mm -hmm. that's what drew my attention to the Baltic region as of now mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So for Estonia, I mean, let's say for Latvia. Yes. Um, in I, I think two or three of your videos, you mentioned that you have something special from Latvia. Yes, you are <laughs> correct. You yes, you cannot go with you. Yeah, you are yeah. correct. You are you correct. Have something special. You have something special from Latvia, and on that video, I think I commented that um, because you mentioned that the. Um, most universities in Latvia will request for at least four years bachelor degree program transcript. All right. Yes. So I yes. commented as in, you know, the university, you, I mean, the special something that, that you have there, whether you can work up something there for, for me. Okay. Now let me, let me be specific. The thing is, um, like i said there is a possibility for me to get admissions to international students you you understand in latvia yes all i need are the documents and uh, any or every other negotiations could be done behind not in this video because of course i have to put this on youtube you know it's not everything that uh, i have to say here you understand yes but there is a possibility for me to get uh, admissions to international students once i receive the documents i have um let me say there is a portal as soon as the documents reach me i have uh, the right to log into the portal and start filling the stuff to reach the officials you understand but this as a disclaimer it's not like um i'm trying to advertise something that's the reason i have to keep some certain words cached you get it yes i don't know as exactly okay now. yes but, but i think um sorry for that we can discuss it behind the scene after exactly the exactly scene. exactly but the, your own field of studies your field of studies um medical laborat because uh you know latvia is mostly economics and business management related and stuff like that right so your field yeah. of studies is yeah. uh, sciences i think for latvia you may not get for latvia but anyways i'm going to speak to someone then i get back to you all right it's not a big deal um i will find out okay. if there is uh, anything related to this otherwise we are going to go for lithuania but again, you have to uh, look at the possibilities of applying for a study visa to Lithuania because I don't know if they have the embassies in India or uh, where you are going to apply for the visa. Uh, for 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 my visa, you know, uh, um, I mean, um, after this, we will discuss behind the scene. But everything I'm going to be doing, trust me, I'm going to be working directly with you. Okay. If you say as you go to, if you say as you go to Israel to obtain my visa, I will go to Israel. <laughs> if you say as you go to Egypt, I will go to Egypt. Um, mm -hmm. Forget about, you know, we cannot see everything here. But, yes, yes, um, yes, I understand. I, I understand, yeah, I understand. I, I, I understand. <laughs> okay, we will discuss that um, behind no issues this one is just to enlighten somebody who probably may be having interest in uh, uh, medical laboratory sciences or anything related to this you understand yeah i get you very well i get you very yeah. well um, yeah so uh i equally when 
to make further research about Latvia from mm. your same YouTube videos. Mm -hmm. I, I came across a university there. Mm -hmm. Um, I think it's I think Riga Technical University. Mm -hmm. Yeah, something like that. I came across a course of uh, my material science. I saw material science there. Yes. I I saw bio medical engineering mm -hmm. or something like that. Yes. Yeah. I'm also interested in biomedical engineering. If if it is biomedical engineering, I'm I'm somehow interested and I'm also interested in material science there is no problem with that because the, the thing is um everybody you know wants to be to a better place where you know mm -hmm. you get a very good lifestyle exactly also, that's one of the main things yeah. exactly so i don't know after this then we can discuss behind the scene about the university I can't remember the university name right now, but I'm sure it's Riga Technical University. Yes, Riga, Riga. Uh, if it's not Riga Technical, then it should be Riga Stradin University because there are two of them in Riga and they have things related to medical laboratory or laboratory sciences. I remember I once checked Riga Stradin, uh, but I don't remember if yeah. it's technical or Stradin, but there are two of them. They are in Riga, I, I understand. Yeah. Um, yeah, it, yeah, sure. Okay. And for, now for, for, for Lithuania. Mm -hmm. All right. Yes. I also saw, I also saw a university there offering nanobiotechnology. I'm also interested in that. Mm hmm nano biotechnology nano yeah I, that was the reason i said um if you are looking for programs that will be related to your field of studies medical laboratory sciences as of now then we would be looking at lithuania yeah. the reason i said so is because i have gone through the university's website and i know that they have things related to to this some schools in lithuania do have uh, yeah. things related to this yes yeah so if you recommend lithuania to me are then of course, I have no objection to that. Yes. My, my um, next question now is, do you have the IELTS exam? Um, I was just coming to that, but, but thank God you raised the issue. For IELTS exams, mm -hmm. um, for, for Lithuanian requirement and Latvia requirement, I already, you know, saw some of the some of the university and their requirement mm -hmm. for Latvia, most university will request for. Uh, um, if I'm wrong, you put me on track because all of the information I'm giving mm -hmm. um, is from your YouTube channel. Of course. Y yes, yes, I get you. I get you. So most of the, the university, the bound, the the required bound score is from 5.5 up war and Excellent. I can assure you that I I can I can read IELTS and not feel to obtain less than 5.5 for Lithuania and Latvia I cannot feel even one one attempt I cannot feel on 5.5 okay I get yeah, it the only or if I can obtain the 6.0 then we can go for Estonia of course Oh, okay all right that's great but for 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 latvia and the twin year i get it i get you okay yeah so another thing i want you to we elaborate on always uh um In Lithuania, even though there are equally videos on the YouTube channel that I went to, mm -hmm. but I have few confusion there. I have few confusions. So okay, I'm what is it about? Uh, particularly, you know, the bank statement. Yes, for Lithuania. Yeah, for Lithuania, the bank statement. Um, 
in one of the videos on the channel you mentioned that um a student is required to have at least six thousand i think six thousand five hundred euro in their personal account yes yes okay, now my question now is is it possible if i have that money or if i do not have all of that money in my personal account mm -hmm. uh, maybe i have like perfectly it works perfectly because you have money in your own personal bank account which is not that small anyways then you equally have documents from to show that you equally have a sponsor so they will take it like you would be feeding from what you have then your sponsor will carry on when you arrive to university that's an excellent way for lithuania not every for every country okay. mm -hmm. yeah um, i mean on those university website that once you get admission you have to pay uh, i think uh, i think 50 percent of your tuition fee which is not bad even if i pay 50 percent of five thousand because i i know i have also on here yes yes you are correct most of the universities yeah. do not go above five thousand euros per year yes <laughs> no i am not correct you are correct because you brought the information on a youtube china <laughs> <laughs> i get it yeah so um if i am okay right now since my budget is five i mean it's seven thousand you know i mean United States dollar in my personal account now. Mm -hmm. So if I am to pay first year tuition fee, which would be say five thousand euro comes from seven thousand, mm -hmm. I'll be left with something around three thousand to four thousand. So if I back it up with my sponsor's bank statement, like you say, I'm good to go for late winning. Yes, yes. Got that. Yes. Now last year. I mean, yeah, Latvia, can you throw light on Latvia bank statement? Well, Latvia bank statement is something equi equivalent to that. It's not, there, there is no big difference that much. It's almost the same thing. I can also support with my sponsored bank statement plus... Uh, you, mine, plus right? yours, yes, it's possible like that. Okay, so... With that being said, for the two countries, Latvia and Lithuania, yes, yes, everything is understood. Okay, everything is understood now. Now, if 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 I am opportune, or if I study very, very high, mm -hmm. until six point five bound school to apply for uh, Estonia admissions, yes. Right? For Estonia, I also, like the information you brought on the UT China, I also make follow-up. Mm -hmm. um, most universities in Estonia would request for, um, if I'm not mistaken, I think like 25% of the situation before you can apply for visa. So for Estonia, I can assure that I can have up to uh seven thousand in my personal bank account actually okay if i get admission from from there mm -hmm. so is that is that okay to go for estonia sure sure it is okay to go because i the the issue is for estonia you have to prove that you have at least seven thousand four hundred plus you'll get so if you have 7,000, it's not a big deal. The gap is not that different. The only thing is to prove where the source is coming from, your money, right? Where your money is coming from before any other thing. Okay. Yes. But uh, if you ever have that, that uh, amount of money in my account, can I also pack it up with my sponsor's bank statement? To of of course you need you need that as well even if they will not ask you just gather those documents and go with it then you equally when going to the, you have to indicate that he is your sponsor probably he will write a sponsorship letter and give to you okay okay 
Yes. Um, one thing, uh, my sponsor and I, we do not have the same son name, but he's actually my mother's biological brother. It's not a problem. If he has the same name with your mother, maybe probably they have a linked name, then that is no big deal for you. You attach his birth certificate so, and that of your mother and your own. They will check. They will see. Okay, okay. Excellent. Yes, that's how it's done. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, now, so for Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania, everything is understood. Like yes, God. understood, yeah. understood. So, now, now, I equally want to understand a few things about about uh, Portugal. For Portugal, mm -hmm. I don't have much. I have not really, you know, gone to the YouTube channel to get detailed information like the, you know, like the Baltic region. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I don't know. Um, I want you to. I actually have more interest in Portugal as well, but I need, I mean, I don't have much information about particularly the admission process and the visa process. Well, like I said, for visa process, I'll give you the information backstage because I don't know when, where you are going to be applying for, you understand? Okay, so let's talk about admission. Once we get admission, then we can discuss. Yeah, sure. Admissions in Portugal is just the same thing. You apply online and you wait. That's how it's done. It's not uh, like another big challenge or maybe a big difference. No. Okay. So, um, uh, there is, I mean, do I have to equalize my documents? and um, at the level of the embassy before applying for admission yes those documents that you you have in india as soon as you graduate legalize the documents then those from liberia i don't know if they are with you or in liberia they should equally been legalized oh for admissions in protocol they will also be needing uh my high school documents yes yes for master Yes, it's possible. Okay. It's um, it's very possible. Yeah. Because of the too much population in India and you know, booking appointment with embassies here is kinda of crazy. So Mm -hmm. Is it possible after obtaining my bachelor degree here, and then I legalize my document, uh, apostle my documents here, and then move to Nigeria and legalize my, my document at the level of the embassies there? Is is that flexible? What what did you say? Can you come again, please? Now, after obtaining my bachelor degree from India, yes. And then I legalize my document here nationally, like say I apostle my documents here. Okay, it's possible for you to do it then. Yes, the, the, the certificate you are going to get from India, you have to do it there. Then those that you got from Liberia, if you didn't do them in Liberia, they have to go back to Liberia. Yes, uh, um, I'm trying to understand something now. After legalizing my documents in India here nationally, mm -hmm. is it possible I take uh, my bachelor degree from India and move to Nigeria and legalize it at the level of the embassy in Nigeria? Does that work? Is that flexible? Mm, it's flexible, but I would suggest you just follow up everything from where you are. It is better that way. Start early. Get early results, book appointment early to avoid uh, uh, maybe embassy issues or appointment issues. That's what I can say. Okay. All right, that is understood now mm -hmm. for Portugal. So, for Portugal, I saw a lot of universities there that are offering uh, my, you know, 
masters in my field like medical m- m- microbiology mm-hmm. uh, biochemistry there are a lot of universities there so for portugal um, when the time comes we can work up something there exactly 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 so another thing is um France for France I don't have much information about France I wanted to okay there is another thing again that I would like to mention here when you are drawing conclusions and deciding on where to go make sure you draw conclusion based on one country and work towards it because preparations is very important when it comes to study abroad don't start something today and tomorrow you said no I want to go to this place no 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 I understand. Yes. We will we we will work together, okay? All right. So after here I'm going to I'm going to please call to uncle and um give him all of the details. So once you upload the video I'm gonna you know share the video with him so mm-hmm. he can go through it for Okay. Now for France, um I really don't have much idea about France. Mm-hmm. I wanted to get that, particularly student jobs. Whether you know, um, France is friendly when it comes to, to to student jobs, because for Lithuania, Estonia, and all those places, you always mention about uh, student job. You know, so I have little idea about them. But for France, no. Okay. Um I think maybe this information I will give you this information behind is going to be better behind because there are certain sensitive things I have to say. Yes. Let's do it that way. Yes. All right. Let's do so it that way. So for Czech Republic as well, can you do you do you also work for admission in Czech? Not really, but I think um, very soon I will have to check because I have a couple of uh, students who got interested in uh, programs over there. So I will have to check to see if I can uh, divert uh, my, some energy, little energy towards that section. Okay. Yes. All right, all right. Okay, you will share a video. Um, on the YouTube channel regarding Belgium uh, proof of funds. Mm-hmm. Um, so, uh, I think you 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 said there are there are three ways that you can prove funds. One is scholarship, two mm-hmm. um, sponsorship. But if your sponsor is within the EU and it has to make certain a, amount of money, mm-hmm. which I got that. But what if um, Let's round up so I can go to the house. Yes, just just continue. I'm listening. Yeah. So uh, yes, let's be a little quick uh, so I can go home and rest. Yeah. Regarding this this blocked accounting, uh, mm-hmm. I'm really afraid of uh, blocked account. Can you can you you know give me little details so my fear can go away because. Account, you no, know, no, no, no. Block account. I know why. Here. I know why you are scared. The thing is, you, you, you are not the one. Um, let me say, if you are to create the account, right? You are only creating to put money inside. It is your account. Nobody can touch the account, and nobody can withdraw money from the account without your consent. You understand? Even if you do not get the visa you can you collect a document from the embassy to withdraw your money back it's not like uh, maybe anybody would disturb the account or or something no it doesn't work that way okay yes if, if you okay. they, they refuse giving you the visa of course they are going to you will tell the bank the bank will tell you what to do or you tell them to give you a document to prove to the bank i'm very much uh used to blocked account for for germany but i'm not used to that for belgium but I know Belgium blocked account is the best. 8,500 uh, euros to 9,000 euros. You just, you are okay to go. For Germany? Yes, for Germany. No, for Belgium. That is for Ge- for, for Belgium. Germany is 11,000 euros now. For Belgium, 
budget is how much? Belgium is at least 9,000 euros right now as I speak. The money has changed. Everything is multiplying in Europe now. Okay, 9,000 euros. Mm -hmm. um, school fees are really expensive in Belgium. Not really Europe. expensive. I think 1,200, 1,005. Um, some programs, maybe 2,300, you are good to go per year. Okay. Yes, it's possible okay, like that. Okay then, uh, okay. then, okay, then this is okay for now. Uh, um, we can discuss the rest, in, I mean, behind the scene. Mm -hmm. and we can equally discuss, you know, uh, uh, what efforts are supposed to be paid. Mm -hmm. Again, then we can continue from there. Okay. Thank you so much. All right, all right, all right. no problem. Thank you so much. I would uh, get back to you. Like I said, try to maintain that um, that um, transcript and make it look good because there is still a possibility for you to to apply to grad school in the uh, United States. There is a possibility for you. You understand? Okay. Yes, it's possible like that. All right. Okay. Thank you so much. Let me go and have some rest. All right, nice talking to you. All right, all right. Take care of yourself. Take care. India is somehow complicated nowadays. I saw a group of uh, people being sent back from the airport. So just be careful. Of course. Yeah. Yeah, we are very, very careful. Yeah. Yes, be careful. Anyways, you take care. Good night. Sound sleep. Okay, thank you. All right, bye-bye.